Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Louis. Today is October 26, 2024, and God bless to every single one of you. Guys, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. We have a big breaking news, red alert, when it comes to nation against nation. It says here, Persia to retaliate against Holy Land tonight. All right, that information is coming out right now, but we have more breaking news. Uh, the sources are saying Persia will not retaliate to the Holy Land airstrike. All right, so we can see what's going on here. We have a lot of breaking news updates. You wouldn't believe um, all the updates coming out. Persian, uh, Persia opposition channels are claiming that at least 10 soldiers were out and over 40 impacted as a result of last night. Holy Land strike operation. Now they are saying that the numbers could rise. Alright, so we have a lot more breaking news updates, guys. But before I start, let's go with the verse of the day. We're going to start with 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 26. Please share the video. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. We're going to go, uh, we're gonna go to thoughts on today's verse. And it says here, when we talk about giving to God and the work of God, we must remember that all we have is His. He doesn't need our gifts to do His work in the world. After all, He made all creation without us. On the other hand, we need to share the blessings He has entrusted to us because He commanded us to do so. And because we are most like God when we give and forgive. What we have isn't really ours. It's all His. Entrusted to us. To be put into useful service to others for God's work and God's glory. So others may see it and know it. And know, excuse me. Correct me, Lord. But only with justice. Not in your anger lest you reduce me to nothing. Here's a prayer. Almighty God and creator of the universe, we praise you. We praise your cre uh, creative, generous, revealed through the incredible verity found in your creation. Please be with us, your human children, and Jesus' disciples, as we seek to be faithful stewards of this beautiful gift and the many others you have lavished on us. We want to be the conduit of your blessing to those around us by being generous and reflecting your grace displayed in giving, forgiving, and creating. In Jesus' name, we pray to grow in the grace of giving as we recognize your glory and the creation you have shared with us. Amen. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Give me one second here, guys. Give me one second. I just want to pull this up really quick. All right. And, yeah, we have tons of breaking news updates, guys. Uh, they're saying that Persia is going to retaliate. So you have two sides, two different sources going on here. So let's go from the very beginning. Let's see what's going on here. Um, so Persia to retaliate against the Holy Land tonight. Persia leader of the armed forces has confirmed Operation True Promise Third will take place tonight. The general said we will strike Holy Land tonight with significant more strength than before. But we're going to find out and see, guys. But uh, we have this breaking news. Persia is saying that they will not retaliate to the Holy Land airstrike. According to officials, Persia conveyed a message through a foreign intermediary that it will not respond to last night's strike by the Holy Land. It will not strike. That's what Persia is saying. But then we have more breaking news here. 
We have uh, Qatar. Qatar PM shares grave concern with Persia foreign minister over result of the Holy Land strike. We're going to get to that one, all right? So Qatar is saying, man, there's going to be something here. Persia is not going to let it go. Persia is not going to let it go, especially knowing that uh, 10 soldiers out. And they're saying the numbers could rise. Hmm. Now, here's the uh, result. Holy Land strike hit Persia bases. Among the sites impacted by Holy Land was an S-300. Wow, they took out a S-300? Wow, along with other um, bases. S-300 is very powerful, guys. That was a gift from the Bay of Russia. They gave those S-300 to uh, Persia. So that thing was taken out. Wow. You best believe it was with the help of the Sleeping Giant. The Sleeping Giant helped the Holy Land on that one. The second wave of strike, the Holy Land drone struck the secret and sensitive base in that region, in the capital. Official claims some of the drones were intercepted, but at least one hit it. Man. S-300 is out. Out. Hmm. Here's another breaking news. Persia officer out in Holy Land strike. You have uh, two Persian air defense, you know, who were out defending against Holy Land. According to an army statement, a defense battery was uh, reportedly struck at one of Persia bases, and that's the S-300. That is the S-300. That was taken out. I'm bringing you guys all the latest updates here. Qatar PM shares grave concern with Persia foreign minister over result of Holy Land strike. Now it says here Qatar's PM NFM um, during a call with Persia foreign minister uh, expressed his country's grave concern over possible consequences of the Holy Land strike on Persia. All right, so this is all the information we're going to get from Qatar. So Qatar is uh, very, very concerned that uh, there's going to be something here. It seems like everything is, you know, let it go and this and that. But, uh, yeah, it seems like uh, it seems like something big is coming. We have more breaking news updates. Now, the Holy Land has put out a warning to Persia. Don't strike back. 12.14 p.m. Eastern Time. The aftermath. Holy Land strike on Persia. Last night, Persia struck... Excuse me. Last night, Holy Land struck per Persia. Now, this morning, the world is breathing. A collective sigh of relief. The strike was not severe in its effect, whether that was planned or just the unwanted by Holy Land. Result is not yet known. Now, the map image above display where a strike allegedly struck. Early this morning, you have the news in the UK reported that Persia officials say Persia will not retaliate. The matter is now closed, but... The British Gov and its, you know, who news are notorious deceivers. As such, until the Persian Gov publicly announced their intent, there is no way of knowing whether Persia actually said this or it's wishful thinking by the Brits. All right. So once again, guys, like I said, this is a story here that uh, Persia is saying they're going to respond. Others are saying they're not. So, we just don't know what's going to happen here. But, Persia soldiers are out and the numbers are rising. What do we know as fact is that there was there were some boom in and around Persia capital last night. But, nothing truly spectacular. Some videos that came out on the platform were fraudulent. 
showing strike from the lands in the past, being represented as if they were strike upon Persia last night as it was happening. So a lot of videos that you saw yesterday, those videos were from months ago, years ago. It was all baloney. So, but the S300, that's the real deal. I mean, they took out the S300. After the Holy Land military publicly announced the strike was over, live video of Persian capital skyline revealed a beautiful sunrise. No smoke, no flames. No lawlessness going on or panicking, this and that. Uh, everything is fine. This morning, there are some limited photos of a missile factory that took at least one hit. There is significant damage to the structure, but not enough to believe that the factory was destroyed. Clearly, it survived. Alright, so it seems like right here... Let it go. Let it go. Now, if Persia get hits again, then Holy Land is one for doing that. Holy Land already got the revenge, even though it was supposed to be the other way around. Persia is the one that's supposed to get the revenge. But uh, again, guys, we are living in uh, perilous time, perilous men, and lawless times. As may be expected, the Persian Gov told citizens to not take imagery of strike damage uh, damage so as not to give Holy Land proof of what they were able to accomplish. While I understood uh, understand that Persia Gov wish is likely not going to work. People are excuse me, people are people and they will do what they do. So imagery is coming out and a beat slowly and I expect it will continue to come out. So here's NASA satellites imagery. NASA has a satellite that uh, picks up active fire on Earth's surface regardless of the cause of the event, showing fires in western Persia. So is Persia hiding videos? That's hard to do. I mean, you know how many people just upload and this and that? The question is, is Persia shutting down certain platforms. Hmm. None of us know what was actually going on at that location. We know that the nuclear inspectors from the International Atomic Energy Agency were forbidden from entering, so that tell us it was part of Persian nuclear program. If there was heavy damage there, or worse, total destruction, then the news report that Persia would not retaliate rings hollow. But that's just conjecture on my part. We just have to wait and see what Persia announces. Right now, though, it seems there isn't much damage to uh, to take imagery of. It appears on the surface that the Holy Land strike was a dud and it says thank God. Maybe the Holy Land did that on purpose. Maybe this whole thing was theater for the domestic Holy Land audience. This story will be updated. We're going to skip all that. Here's another updates, old updates. Multiple reports are coming in saying that at least two. Okay, we already know that. Some of the soldiers. We're going to skip some of this stuff here, guys. Twelve fourteen p.m. Eastern Time. Three Sleeping Giant Air Force KC-135 area refueling tankers have departed from this base in Qatar. We were, maybe we were just talking about Qatar. And are heading north over Iraq. While another group of three KC-135 coming from other base in Germany are heading south over Turkey towards the Mideast. Come on, Sleeping Giant. What are you guys doing here? What are you guys doing here now?
Oh. If Persa get hit again, then uh, Sleeping Giants, they're really looking for WWE 3. World has now been given that the Holy Land social media influencer who are now saying this looks like Holy Land strike was a preparation. Destroyed air defense and route to Persia and Siri. So the S300 is gone. We talked about the S300. Maybe there's going to be a second round. A second round. There you go. See the uh, radars, the S300 and the S400? Gone. Now that Persia air defense is fully blinded, the Holy Land can freely strike its nuclear facility. Oh my, my, my. Breaking emergency news. It's now over. It's not over. See that map? So they took out Persia. Okay, so it does make a lot of sense. Uh, they took out Persia uh, missile defense system. That's what he took out. That's why yesterday's strike was not huge. It was not big. Because they took out the, uh, the, uh, the S-300. And they took out other stuff too. Now the next one is going to be the big one. And possibly they're going to go after the nuclear site facility. Which is, uh, mm, is going to be very, very bad, guys. It's going to be huge. Meanwhile, a short time ago this morning, Persia Foreign Minister said Persia determination to defend itself is limitless. So, so again, I believe there's a possibility there's going to be a huge second round. I believe so. Um, and, again, like I mentioned yesterday, it wasn't a big response. It wasn't big. But today we found out that S-300, S-400 were taken out. And it kind of makes sense. The Holy Land was taking out their missile defense first. The next round, I mean, the next one, they're going to drop the hammer. Because now the missile defense are blind. They have nothing. Keep your eyes open, guys. Keep your eyes open. I do believe uh, there's going to be something big that's going to hit the fan. Uh, again, look, when the Holy Land respawn, they respawn really hard. And they dropped the hammer. Yesterday, that was nothing. I mean, it does make sense. They only took out missile defense system, and the next one might be the big hammer. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please share the video. For those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon will get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.